everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video um, I have a buy it or pass it for you guys I feel like I have not done one of these in a very very long time so I'm excited to go over some new releases with you guys um, this series was originally created by Samantha March I will definitely have her channel listed down below along with her community playlist she has a playlist for all the creators that do this type of video so if this is something that you enjoy make sure you guys check that playlist out so before we get started if you guys are not subscribed please go ahead and hit that button down below I normally post videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday um, however side note this week there will be no video um, on Friday or the following Monday it is my daughter's dance recital week and I really want to just concentrate on that and not have to worry about filming and editing um, so my apologies for that but videos will resume next Wednesday um, but you can also follow me on Instagram snapchat and Twitter and I will have those all listed down below so <laughs> quick side note as well I'm sorry I look a hot mess it is so hot it is so freaking hot it is like 97 98 degrees not including the humidity if you know anything about Georgia it is so freaking hot and so freaking humid I feel like I'm melting. I am not one for the heat. I really should move up north because like 62 is my happy place. Um, and anyways, the place that I live in, <laughs> it's a two story. It is a very, very old two story town home. And the AC that the owners have in here is really only made for a one story place so it doesn't really do its job so it's like 72 degrees in my house and I am melting I have like three fans and everything else going so I wasn't about to make sure my hair was all nice and pretty and everything else I just threw it up and said this is me so sorry <laughs> we got way off subject so I will have little screenshots right here of all the products that I talk about of course I get all my information from trend mood so I'll have her listed down below as well I find her on Instagram um, and we have a lot to go through so let's go ahead and get started with the new Jaclyn Hill cosmetics line um, she has came out with her very first product which is 20 shades of nude lipsticks and I'm actually really excited about this I think if anybody um, can create a perfect nude it's going to be Jaclyn Hill because she is obsessed with nude lipsticks and I'm really really excited to see now she has like I said 20 different shades they're $18 a piece um, she is coming out with trios there's gonna be four sets there's the Magna nude nude moment nude tease and nude mood which is actually uh, she says is her favorite which actually has the colors that I'm interested in um, in that trio so that's probably the one that I'm gonna be purchasing uh, it includes the nude AF amazeballs and obsessed so those are the shades that I was looking into um, now she does have the full collection of 20 lipsticks for $295 which I mean I when you think about it I guess you know 20 lipsticks it's not bad <laughs> Number one, I don't need all 20. Number two, my God, I would never spend that much um, at one time on lipsticks. That's just insane to me. Um, but I will be picking up the trio and I'm really, really excited about it. It's going to be available May 30th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. Um, yes, like I said, so excited. I think these colors are going to be so beautiful. I can't wait to see what the formula is like and I will be doing a dedicated review to the lipsticks. So make sure you stay tuned. All right. And of course, you guys know I have ColourPop on my list. I'm always probably going to have ColourPop on my list because they come out with new collections all the time. They have a blue palette that is just, oh, it's so stunning it is called the blue moon palette it is a $12 nine shade palette now first of all this packaging color pop always nails the packaging it is literally screaming my name it's got blue moon on there and it's got the stars and the moon I just it's so pretty I love it so much now if you look at the colors the colors are gorgeous for a blue palette my only dilemma is I did pretty much just purchase the blue blood palette from Jeffree Star and I think that kind of has either sim if not the same shades similar shades to it and I mean I don't wear blue a lot it's more of an occasion or you know 
I feel like I'm in the mood to wear blue. I'm not going to be putting blue on my eyes every day. So it really wouldn't make sense to have both palettes. But I think it is so pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, I would say, I would go as far as say this. If you guys do not have the Blue Blood palette, but you're interested in the colors, I would definitely look into this palette. I love ColourPop. I think their formula is amazing. And this palette looks spectacular. But... Like I said, I have the Blue Blood palette, so I'm gonna have to pass on this one. Okay, Huda Beauty came out with three new palettes. They are her nine pan palettes, and I actually do quite enjoy these. I have the Smoky Obsessions and the Mauve Obsession palettes. I love them so much. Those were $27. Now she has bumped up the price on these to $29, which isn't that big of a jump. These are neon shades. So the three palettes consist of the pink neon, the orange neon, and the green neon. I'm not interested in the green, I'm not interested in the pink, but I will say I'm actually pretty interested in that orange neon. Um, that vibrant orange and yellow, and it's even got a little bit of pink in there. It's kind of perfect for me. Um, those are the colors that I really love. I think it screams summertime, and it's just so pretty. Um, so I probably will be picking this one up. It's also going to be available on May 30th um, online at Huda Beauty or Sephora, and it's going to be in stores June 6th. It seems like a lot of products are releasing on May 30th. That seems like it's going to be a very big, busy day. <laughs> so I'm, I'm definitely going to be busy purchasing some items um i'm gonna to have to start with jacqueline hill just because of the fact that her stuff is probably going to sell out like immediately like it always does but anyways all right so tarte has a new palette out now let's talk about this just for a little bit everybody always gets on to tarte because they never really think outside the box they never really do colorful shadows they kind of are like neutrals and browns um, warm tones those have always been tart shades and the palettes that they come out with um, but this is something completely outside the box for them this is something that they haven't done before and it pretty much is a rainbow palette I think this is a really pretty palette I think the colors are really pretty I think the packaging is very pretty um, I know a lot of people are excited and then again a lot of people are complaining that they're they kind of put three blues in there instead of putting in a green um i kind of agree with that i'm not going to complain about it because i think it's something that is new from tart and exciting and they tried <laughs> you gotta give them that they tried um now i probably won't be picking this up just because of the fact that i do have colorful shadows in my collection i have the nyx um rainbow palette whatever the name of that one is and of course i have the james charles palette so i'm fully stocked on rainbow palettes so this one is just a little bit too late for me but i think it's great that tarte actually tried something new they tried a solid colorful shadow palette which I think is great it's a step in the right direction for them to kind of expand on their eyeshadows and i i think it's great but i will be passing over it okay let's talk about ColourPop one more time they have a whole entire collection for the summertime it is their watermelon collection uh you have eyeshadow palettes you have lippies there's glitter in there <laughs> what else there's like lip gloss uh, super shock shadows there's watermelon sleep oil which sounds really interesting and a watermelon face milk that sounds interesting all right so I actually think I'm gonna pass over this whole entire collection not that I don't want it because of course it is ColourPop and I love the theme watermelon it's a beautiful collection but I do have my heart set on a couple of other items that are more I'm more in love with so I think I'm going to pass over this collection just because of the fact I don't need it um, I really have to be smart with my purchases and I'm not, I can't just buy everything so I think I'm gonna go Huda Beauty obsessed palette hold off on ColourPop that's how I feel that I need to go so passing over this collection all right, so Anastasia Beverly Hills has a brand new palette coming out, and this one is in collaboration. Um, she is collabing with Alyssa Edwards, I believe that is the name. 
this is a eyeshadow palette. There is a fan, a mirror. The eyeshadow palette is $45. There's a fan for $15. There's the beast mirror for $25. Um, or you can get the whole entire package for $95 in their PR box. Now this is going to be released May 29th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Anastasia's website. And it's going to be available June 6th uh, for Beautylish and Sephora and Ulta. And it says international and in stores. Um, okay, I absolutely love Anastasia Beverly Hill palettes. I mean, love. But... But I just don't feel a connection with this palette. Um, I don't know what it is. I think the colors are pretty. Something about it is really throwing me off. And I, I, when I first saw it, I didn't, I didn't do like a double take. Like what? What? What is that? I need that. No, that wasn't there when I saw this palette. Um, so I think. Even looking at it right now, my heart isn't reaching for it, so I think I'm going to pass on that. I think the mirror is really cute. I love the bedazzled mirror. I love that it says Beast on the back. That's cute. But I have mirrors, and I think that would just be a waste of money to buy that. Um, and then the fan. I don't need a fan. <laughs> I think it's cute, but I don't need a fan. So I am going to be passing over this whole collection. All right, and last but not least, Oh my gosh, I am so back and forth on this one, you guys. Uh, Natasha Denona is releasing a new palette. Um, this is going to be available on June 3rd, so I still have time to go back and forth and decide whether I want it or not. <laughs> and it is her Sunrise palette. Oh, the moment I saw this, my heart dropped a little bit. It is a summertime vibe. It's got the yellows and the oranges and the reds, and it's just so beautiful. I just, I'm so drawn to this palette, but it's also a big chunk of money. I think her palettes are what, like $125, $129, something like that. So it really has to be something that I am dying to have to buy something that is going to be that expensive. This might be the one. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm saying that out loud. Oh my God, my husband's going to kill me. I almost feel like maybe I should wait till it is in store so I could swatch it first just to be sure because $125 or even $129 is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And I really have to be sure that I want this palette. So I might have to wait till it comes in store, swatch it, and go from there. But as of right now, it is tugging at the heartstrings. So. I'm going to put this palette as a maybe, <laughs> maybe, uh, we'll just, we'll just have to see. I, I do own Natasha Denona palettes. I own the Camel palette and the Sunset palette and, oh, they are just everything. They, they're amazing. They're absolutely amazing. I don't think this palette would be anything of short of amazing. Um, so yeah. That one's definitely, definitely a maybe. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for this buy it or pass it. I would love to hear down below what you guys plan on getting. Is there anything that is catching your eye? Um, let me know down below. And if you did like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up for me. And I'll see you next time. Bye.